back with more Ends of S.H.I.E.L.D. This is episode 7 of season 6. A um, few things quickly. This is obviously a different location to what the last few reactions have been um, filmed in. I'm in a different room of the house. Um, other rooms aren't available for many reasons. And also, sorry, uh, this is going to be a bit late. Um, I was waiting up until about 3am this morning. Um, to watch and react to shows as I normally do, you know, and get it out as soon as I can and get a bit after. But the episode was just not playing for me, so I had to kind of give up and get a bed. Um, because I needed to get up at about half eight this morning. Um, and this was going to be a very kind of tough day for me to get through personally for so many reasons. But um, I know I wasn't going to be able to react to it till later, um, until later in the day, unless. I filmed it then, but obviously technical difficulties didn't work out, so I'm filming it a bit later, so apologies it's a bit late. But regardless, I'm very excited to see what's going to happen. Um, I mean, how would you follow like one of the best episodes I've ever done, you know? And because that was so centric on Fitzsimmons, I feel like maybe they're not going to be the big focus this time. Um, maybe we're going to focus a lot on the Sarge stuff, which is fine, but I've heard good things about it from my friends. And I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun because End of Shield always delivers. That's just how it is. So I'm very, very excited to get into this next one, see what's going to happen, how it's all going to play out, what's going to happen next. Um, so yeah, this is already late enough. So without further ado, let's get into it. Whoopsie. What the bloody hell does that? <laughs> my loves, my life. That device is quite sensitive, requiring the utmost. Oh no. Oh Jesus. She had butter my face, but I still like her. To be fair, I'd be the same. Make her punch me and I'd thank her. Bye. Fuck off. Oh, Daisy's reaction to this is going to destroy me. <gasps> My son! Oh, fuck a duck. Yeah, I'm out. This is too much. Fair. Her too, huh? You don't care about the death you leave behind. Maybe I should teach you. Please. Oh, boy. I miss Colson, but I think... I guess you're the one in charge. Clark's so doing such a good job as Sarge. You need to let me go, or everyone dies. Seventh right? She found fits. Ah! She loves her children. So do I. This place is just not as much fun without the vapor trails. The what now? Uh, Trails of euphoria. Wait, what? What is what? <laughs> is there something you're not telling me? Oh, they're so married and I'm not even married yet again. Oh shit. Here we go again. My youngest brother though. He reminds me of Tormund from Game of Thrones. A baker. The family trade. Hard work and good smells. <laughs> what happened to them? Okay, Peter. All gone. Fertilizer. Oh. <laughs> Thanks to Sarge. <laughs> So Sarge kind of recruits people for his cause, like Coulson used to. What's that cough about, though? Your people. They keep looking at me. You might want to get used to that. And why is that? Oh, shit. Because by the end of the day, I'll be the one in charge. The one in Sarge. <laughs> nice shoes. You picked up some stuff <laughs> in the past year. You look good. I mean, they're... Vintage 88 Jordans never worn super rare. I won't lie, I still kind of like the idea of these two. I know I'm in the minority. I'm super rich now. Yeah. <laughs> Weird flex, but okay. What did you do? You and Fitzsimmons were poking around the galaxy for the last year. Grandma and Grandpa are still in space, so that's cool. Oh, fuck. We found Fitz, so. Found Fitz? What are you talking about? This is the gear from Sarge's truck. You know, we gotta start calling him something else. I not tell you a name either, huh? Find the Shrike and save the hosts. Has Sarge given you anything that might help with that? No. They can form a Shrike team. 
Just <laughs> evasion and mind games. Maybe play it's time game. to strike back. Huh. I'm open to ideas. And you sent a team out to find him? And you didn't tell me that either? That's not complicated. That just sucks. It was the call made oh. all the time. Well, maybe you shouldn't be making the calls because that was a bad one. No, oh, you shit. You priorities besides being a part of this team. Oh, this team? You mean the team that I helped bring back from the dystopian future? Yeah, you did that. Then you left. Oh, I went on the mission to help you find him. I'm gonna give him a hug, my lemon child. I believe you. Because I'm gonna pour every resource we have into getting back out there and bringing them home. <sighs> same. I don't have that power, but same. Were you trying to flatter me? Absolutely. It oh. totally worked. Let's <laughs> keep him busy. He's like a lost puppy with no stick to fetch. Must be strange looking at the real deal. Season 5, episode 12. When you're just a knockoff. Savage. Oh, he came out of the shadows like Coulson did in the pilot! Coulson put a value on life. Especially care about those who are loyal to him. I miss you. I don't think you do. Look at their little things. <laughs> They're like dogs being taken out for a walk. Bank. There's no need to kill us. <laughs> <laughs> Is the use I have for you? Is it? Rude. Killing a synthetic is a wasted sport. He'll be sent to the brothels. I do not know what I'm feeling. You know oh. what? I have something very special in mind. I know what they'll be feeling if you go to the brothels. Hope you're not too attached to your heads. <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. After everything, this can't possibly oh, be how we come to an end. The player that cannot hold the weight will decapitate. <laughs> I prefer Mario Kart. I can use a company of a pretty lady. Hey, hey, hey! <coughs> Knock it off! Me. <laughs> <laughs> I want a Terrence. Me too. And yours is to make a profit. I'm cautious of her, and she looks like the girl from Lazy Town. But currently, I have no choice but to stand. Well, truthfully, I need you here with me. I mean, it seems like you have everything handled, Director. I mean, there's a reason all those hands went up when I put it to vote. <laughs> yeah, thanks for doing me that favor. Aw, underrated friendship. Coulson struggled too. He just. He was very good at hiding it. Aww. It's like Simmons in the last episode. Pit in a box. The one thing I don't believe is that you and Yo Yo are still split up. I love you. But you love each other. Death! And it's capture, not kill, right? That's right. Can Daisy go? Because I want the Daisy and May scene. Just because we couldn't save them before. Yes, we need to talk about Coulson, not Kevin. The fuck? God, they must be doing like 120 a day. Calm, leave. Uh, ooh. I mean, I wasn't expecting this, I won't lie. Jackar? Yeah, that could be useful. Your knowledge might be perfect for what I'm searching for. And what is that? Valuable artifacts stolen from me. And I know what planet they're on. Whatever planet you're going to, Earth. it will probably be foreign to Fitz and I. Our knowledge is mostly Earth-based. Did you think it was a luck that I saved the lives of two Terrans? Okay. You mean... Still lands are colliding. We're going to Earth. We're going home, sweetheart. Excellent. <laughs> I don't think I'll be calling this home or calling you friend. Oh, that's disappointing. I was 
hoping maybe we could plan a fishing trip together. <laughs> I'd watch that episode. We nabbed two strike that were headed for each other. My team has them inbound, so it looks like we're going to save those lives after all. Wow. Two at once? <laughs> I was going to say, he wasn't going to be impressed with two. Let's make sure you bloody kill them. Ooh. Agent Rodriguez? Are they in love? I'm sure that's a very good thing. Keep them in the containment module. One day something good will happen in the containment module. Fire. <gasps> Bad day for that guy. He was a bit shorter. Yo yo's in there with it. Give us something. Oh shit. Your truck and your crew, now what do we do? Cold. That stuff can't survive it. Yo yo. We're good. Yo yo, you yo. Wow. They need to find that Donny kid from season one and two who can freeze shit. Oh boy. Told you. What do you want from us? Oh boy. This the ship. Is no ship. Oh, I'm sorry. No, after you. Oh, they're so polite, they're so British, they're so me. We are taking this ship back. Now. <laughs> Look, I don't need any more broken bones. And I think I have enough credits to help you free up some time. Sure. I kind of like this woman, but I feel like she's going to betray us all. Are your credits to waste? Depends what she wants on Earth, really. Get the drive ready, we'll prep for departure. Maybe she's after the strike as well. <laughs> Is she a secret member of Coulson's team? Sarge's team? Hey, hey, you know. Oh, look at them. I have a new mission to find a home for my people. <gasps> no, don't leave. Oh, my heart. They are so wholesome. Him your expressions straight away. He'll swoop in and season finale save the day. I will not miss you very much, Leopold Fitz. I am bluffing. my parents fuck they're my parents and my children how does that work great episode loved it um i really don't know how the sound is in this room so i apologize if it's shit but <laughs> we make do um where do i start um i liked the whole thing with fitzsimmons and enoch um the, tri the trio of the three of them was everything to me um and it was interesting going back to kitson i wasn't expecting that um, and then seeing that the guy who was in charge, bit of an asshole, but he's the guy from the Breakfast Club. Um, so therefore I will forgive him. Um, but it was cool like seeing that setting again. I suppose they just wanted to reuse that set. Um, and I kind of like what they spoke about with like gambling and the corruption of gambling almost, the corruption of people, um, how some games are fixed. I kind of liked their commentary on that. I'm not sure that was like the absolute intent to do that kind of thing. It was more a means to an end to get Fitzsimmons on a course to Earth, but um, I think it was kind of cool they explored that kind of theme. Um, and I really like the set of Kitson, I like the kind of style and the lighting and stuff like that, so it was cool going back there, um, considering that was such a popular episode this season as well, it was kind of nice to revisit that like four episodes later. So, um, and the fact that Jen even mentioned um, time her and Daisy got high and Fitz's reactions to that was everything. Fitz's reactions to everything are everything. His scream when <laughs> he thought the thing was going to drop in him. Oh, iconic. Um, but yeah, I liked the kind of interplay between the three of them. The comedy between the three of them I thought worked really well. Um, and I just, I'm just so excited for them to get back to Earth and reunite with everyone. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait for Fitz to meet Deke properly. This version of Fitz. I can't wait for Fitz and Mac to reunite. 
um, Fitz and Daisy to have a proper reunion. Fitz to find out about Sarge. Um, so even, I mean, Gemma doesn't even know about Sarge yet, so that'll be exciting. I can't wait for that. Hopefully we'll be getting that in the next episode or two, because, you know, we're over halfway through the season now. Um, but yeah, I loved everything with them on Kits, and I thought it was really cool, very interesting. Um, and then that last scene, I, I, I don't know, I didn't even consider that Enoch would go. Um, but they clearly set up a return for him, so I'm sure we'll see him again. I have no doubt in my mind about that. But I've loved the actor this season playing Enoch. He was great last season as well. Um, but his delivery on every single line is just so pitch perfect. Um, I think he had great, you know, chemistry with Ian in terms of that kind of comedy duo. Um, so I've loved Enoch so far this season, and hopefully we will see him again at some point this season. Um, if not next season, who knows? But I'm sure we'll see him again. But for now, he did good. Bit of a lapse with the whole turning in Gemma thing. But he did good overall. He, you know, he made amends. He got them out of there. Um, and I've loved Enox this season. So that was really sweet, that seat, that little goodbye. I love the fix, hugged him and stuff. Best friends forever. Um, and I also love Fitzsimmons being Fitzsimmons. Because they're my life. Um, and then that new woman, Izel, Azel? I, I didn't really know how to spell it. Um, the girl from Native Town is what I will call her as, probably for the rest of the season, or however long she sticks around for. I like her, but that normally does mean they're evil. Uh, so I don't really know what's going to happen. It I think it's going to depend on a revelation about what she actually wants on Earth. Um, but at the moment, as long as she's taking Fitzsimmons home, I don't give a shit, because that is everything. Um, so yeah, I'm very interested in what they're going to do with her and where they're going to go with that whole story. Seems they have a ship to head home for, which is why I'm hoping we're going to get a reunion between everyone very, very, very soon. Um, but I am interested in, in what role it... Because it seems like they've introduced kind of a new story thread with her and something she wants on Earth. So I feel like it needs to be connected to something we've already been introduced to, which is why I'm thinking she's either tied to Shrike or she's tied to Sarge and that crew. Or maybe just one of the members of the crew somehow. I don't know. Maybe she's Jacko's baker wife. Long lost baker wife. I don't know. Um, but I'm very, very interested in where they're going to go with her and that character. So I'm intrigued. I'm apprehensive because I feel like she could be evil. Um, but I like her. So I'm looking forward to seeing where they go with that whole story and what she's after. Um, so yeah, everything on Kitson was great. Um, and then... I think the real meat of the episode was everything with Sarge, particularly with Sarge and Mac. I like how they were almost comparing the directors of S.H.I.E.L.D. of days gone by, even though Coulson isn't actually in there. But I like that they had the hologram of him and Mac was kind of directly comparing Coulson and Sarge. And I'm very, very excited to get some answers about Coulson, what's going on, why do they look the same, even though Sarge's like 100 years old, how do they have the same DNA, what's going on. Um, I saw one cool theory that was like, um, this is like our Coulson, but he got like sent back in time or something, so he's lived for like a hundred years or something like that. Um, and he's like become Sarge in that time and forgotten memories or whatever. Because he said a few episodes ago, Col the name Coulson rang a bell. Um, so I quite like that theory, but obviously I don't know shit about <laughs> where to go with that, which is very exciting. So I can't wait for some more answers about that because I'm very, very intrigued, especially because it seems like Sarge doesn't even know why he looks like Coulson. Um, so I'm very intrigued by that. Should be really cool to get answers. Um, but I liked him and Mac and they're kind of arguing, going back and forth. Sarge's complete confidence throughout the whole episode. Um, his very brief interactions with Daisy, the fact that Daisy couldn't cope with that, I like that they explored that a bit. Um, I, I did, I was kind of hoping we'd get a scene between Daisy and May where they talk about that. Because I feel like they're probably the two that would be most affected by this right now. Um, we didn't get that, hopefully we will. Um, but it was nice to see like May and Daisy reunite and stuff. And for May, oh, May's face when she found out they found fits. Oh, wholesome content. I love Mama May. Um, so I'm just, oh, I can't wait for the reunions. It's going to be so worth it because we, we spent, I mean, with the gap in between seasons as well, it's been like well over a year of waiting for all this team to come back together. So I'm excited. Um, but yeah, I like to start just kind of manipulation of things, kind of knowing everything that's going to happen. Um, almost like negotiating a peace between the S.H.I.E.L.D. and that crew. I feel like they need to work together to like stop the big bad of the season, which I feel like could be like um, the Shrike creator. 
Um, but there's so many possibilities they can take this story, so I'm really, really excited to see where they go with it. Um, so yeah, I liked Daisy's reaction to that and everything. Um, continuing the plot of Deke having this major crush on Daisy, which is a big mood. Um, like I mentioned, I do quite like the idea of them together. I feel like they balance each other out very, very well. I feel like Daisy would allow Deke to mature, and I feel like Deke would allow Daisy to have a bit of fun and just smile, you know, because she deserves it. But if that's going to happen, I feel like it's going to be quite a way off yet, because I feel like Daisy doesn't even have those feelings at all for Deke right now. She might one day, but not right now. Um, so we'll see where they go with it, but it could just be a running gang for the whole show, who, who knows, but I still love it, and my cinnamon roll child. Uh, love my lemon child. Um, and him finding about Fitz. Man, that broke my heart. Um, Jeff Ward does have the kind of angsty Fitzsimmons acting down, so that's good. Um, I really liked his confrontation with Mac, and that he was so easily swayed by <laughs> Mac just complimenting him. Um, but I like that Mac almost kind of silently recognised that probably wasn't a good call to not tell Deke, um, and immediately put him to work. And it does show that Deke is a very clever guy, because he worked out the whole thing. We saw at the start of season 5 he's a very clever guy. Um, so I'm glad that they're putting that to work as well. Um, and I'm hoping those two actually become really good friends, because I feel like they'd be quite good for each other as well. Um, and oh my god, I can't wait for Fitz's reaction to Deke, it's going to be amazing. Um, but I love that Deke finally found out about Fitz dying, um, and talk about multiverses as well. Very interesting, because that's another kind of theory going around about who Sarge could be. He could just be from a multiverse, which could also make sense. Um, but I'm intrigued, I'm very excited to see where they're going to go with all of that. Um... What else? Oh, Jacko. The whole thing with him turning into a dragon. <laughs> the whole fire thing. That was weird, right? I mean, this is a weird season. Like, we saw Gemma and Daisy get high. And then Piper and Davis get high. They weren't in this episode. Oh, that's kind of sad. I just realised that. Um, and she saw a little monkey Fitz dance on a straw. And I still was more weirded out by Jacko breathing fire. I hope we get more of an explanation to that. I'm sure it will. Um, it was foreshadowed by what um, Snowflake was saying earlier in the episode, but I don't really know what that about. <laughs> um, he said he was a baker. I'm glad we got some backstory with him. Um, I liked that scene between him and Yo-Yo. But why can he breathe fire? That's kind of weird. But I hope we get some answers about it, and I'm sure we will. Um, and I'd be interested in seeing if the other team members have kind of abilities like that as well that they kept hidden. Because I feel like that would have been really handy quite a few times before now. But there we are. Never mind. I'm sure we'll get some answers, but yeah, that was weird. Um, but I'm not against it. I'm kind of for him going all Daenerys Targaryen. Uh, so there we are. And then... Oh, I also loved the scene between Daisy and Mac where they were talking. I love their friendship so much. Um, I hope they focus on it a lot more in the future because I think it's really underappreciated and an underrated friendship that is just so wholesome. Um, and, I mean, so many friendships and relationships were tested in the back half of season five, so it's nice to see people just getting along again. It's a very nice change. Um, but yeah, when Daisy was like, of all the things I've seen, I just can't believe that you and Yo-Yo aren't, <laughs> aren't together, um, because you love each other, and she's absolutely fucking right. Um, I think it's inevitable they will get back together, I just think not yet, because obviously Keller's death is still so recent. Um, but I'm sure they'll find their way back to each other, but I love that Daisy said that. Um, kind of trying to slap some sense into Mac, which I really enjoyed. Um, I feel like Mac just needs time, I think that's his arc for this season at least, um, to kind of get into the groove as the director and kind of become confident in himself. I feel like other people are confident in him, he's just not confident in himself, because um, he feels like he doesn't match up to Coulson yet, but hopefully he'll, he'll learn that, and he'll learn that he is a good director, and then him and you can get things going again. Um, that's my hope, and I'm sure that's where they're going with it. I think that's a really interesting storyline for Mac as well. Um, because, you know, time and time again we've kind of seen how capable he is of so many things. Um, so to see him, his greatest enemy, kind of be himself almost, I think is very interesting. And the fact that he brought Sarge into this episode, and everyone, he was like saying, everyone's staring at me, not you, director. Um, just adds the kind of Max insecurity about the whole thing. So I'm hoping his arc for the season is him kind of getting over that. Um, and for me personally, I think that's one of the most interesting story arcs of this season, is what they're doing with Mac. I think it's very interesting. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing 
what's going to happen there. But yeah, overall, fantastic episode. I absolutely loved it. Um, loved everything with Fitzsimmons because it's Fitzsimmons. Um, the Enoch goodbye was very well done, but very sad, but I'm sure we'll see Enoch again. Um, and then everything with Sarge and Mac, that kind of rivalry, I think is really cool. I love that Deke found out about Fitz. Um, I loved all the little character moments we were getting throughout. Um, and Sarge and the team learning a bit more about their backstories and starting to maybe get them to work together to stop the strike, I don't know. But there's definitely some advancement in that plot, as well as the plot to get Fitzsimmons back to Earth with this new Izel, Lazel character, um, who I'm quite interested in as well. So lots of great stuff being introduced and continued to be developed in this episode. And yeah, six episodes left of the season. We're over halfway through, which is nuts. But I love this episode. So, so good. Can't wait to see what's going to happen next. I feel like there's definitely like a two-parter coming up called Collision Course. I think that's the next two episodes. It's Collision Course Part 1 and 2. So I'm hoping that's the storyline that's going to see everyone come back together, hopefully. We'll see. Um, but I think it's that's the next two. Um, it's definitely coming up. So I'm excited for that and see what that's going to be about. But fantastic episode. Can't wait for more. Um, sorry this reaction was late again. Um, I just wasn't in a very good place this weekend. I just didn't want to react to it when I wasn't feeling great. Um, and I am sweating like no one's business because it's boiling hot in this room. But for S.H.I.E.L.D., I would do anything. So, yeah. Um, sorry this was a bit late. Sorry I looked like trash. And until my next reaction, things should hopefully be back to normal. Thanks for watching.